Hello everyone. Welcome to Flower Boss. I'm working on a cute, cute little project. Have you guys been to the stores uh, like Home Goods or Lowe's or somewhere like that and you've seen these little mini faux floral arrangements? This one is only about nine inches tall by about four inches wide. Is that so cute? Can you guys see it? Um, if you've been to the store and you've seen these mini faux floral arrangements with the little pebbles on top, these are selling for $9.99 to $12.99 each. And I literally made this for a dollar and 20 cents. I got the, all my pebbles for free and I'm going to show you how to make them. You can use a container like this. You can use a little white one, whatever container you have. Maybe you have a, a little square one, a glass one like that, a cube or just whatever little container that you have, you can make the cutest little mini faux arrangements for your um, desk, for your home office, your bathroom, your, your island, put by your little coffee pot. If you have a sunny little window, it's so cute. Okay, so I'm going to show all of you how to make these right now. And it's not hard at all. You can use, I got these little, uh, these little pebbles from the yard out in the, um, in a rock bed and I just washed them and dried them and I laid them out here on a paper towel and um, you can use the pebbles just like they are they don't need any color at all but I thought I would it would be fun to show you I did th these I did um, I dabbed a little bit of pink in in that one but um, I dabbed some pink in there but this one I'm gonna dab a little bit of yellow but you can use them just like they are you could add some brand little drops of brown but once I show you how to get the color in you can do any color that you want okay so all I did for this um I got my granddaughter's paint here let me see if it's um still fresh or if she left the lid open no, no it's perfect and I just have a um a poster board here that I'm working off of and then I can just throw it all away so when I got this little paintbrush here and then I just get my paintbrush like this and I just kind of dab literally just dab them and it'll take a little bit for them to dry but i'm not putting a lot just to, just to have a hint of the color that, and that is all that i'm going to do to that okay okay so the next thing i do is you get little sprigs of whatever greenery you have maybe you have you made something you have greenery or you or you might have tiny tiny pieces like this little piece of eucalyptus and that's not going to be quite long enough. So just get you a little stick or a stem like that and just lay it on your on your eucalyptus stem and cut you off a piece of um, floral wire. And then you can just make the make the stem as long as you need that to be. That's what I do. I save all these scrap little pieces of greenery from different projects and so um, it's so easy to make these. And if they're $9.99 to $12.99 plus tax, you know, and this container right here, it's a glass container. I got this at the Dollar General. It was a dollar and it was buy one and get one free. So this one and this one. So 50 cents for this little glass container. See, just a little glass container is all I have here. And it's so cute and it's very sturdy. And then I took a piece of dry foam and I just cut it in a circle to fit down in there. That's what to fit. Can you guys see? Sorry, to fit right down in there. That's all I did for that. So let me get this wrapped up and I'll show you guys. Any little scrap pieces of greenery that you have, just make you a stem for it and that's it. So I thought I might go ahead. I already made a stem for this one. And since I'm going to uh, be using some of my, my yellow pebbles, I don't know if you guys can see the yellow in there now. But I have a little twig of this that has a slight hint of yellow. So um, I'm just going to pair it with, um, yeah, I have this little leather leaf right here. And I just put a stem on the back of that. So I'm just going to lay it on there just like that. And then I'm, I have some twigs of uh, this one. I made a stem for that. I'm just going to lay it on there. Oh, the top fell off of that one. Just like that. And let's see. I want that to be in the back yeah so i'm just laying these on top of each other making a little um okay and then i had a little twig in the hat 
I love the texture and the different colors greenery so I made a twig for that I mean I'm sorry I made a stem for that I'm gonna put that right there that's how it's looking so far and then and I have this little piece and you don't need a lot for this so I'm gonna put this down a little bit lower and then I have them all together that's and I'm gonna get uh, my floral wire once again Thank all of you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel over here in Houston, Texas. It's been raining all day, and this is so fun to make something when it's raining. <laughs> and like I said, you can get these containers in white, pink, um, green. This is a, a beautiful olive color, but any color, whatever color you have. And these make excellent gifts, or they can be wedding shower gifts, or, or there's so many uses for these, and you certainly don't want to spend to thirteen dollars when um, this was fifty cents. Um, this I had left over from something, so that was free. <coughs> Excuse me, my pebbles were free. I had the paint left over for something, but it's only like fifty cents that brand anyway for the paint. So um, that's pretty much it. So it was fifty cents for this, and then we'll say fifty cents for my random greenery. I already had this in the glue. You just use a couple of drops of this. I'm using. Beacon 527, but you can use the, you know, your hot glue. I noticed my hot glue didn't seem to adhere as good as this Beacon 527, and this does take uh, about an hour to dry fully. And you don't, you want to uh, wear your mask or do it outdoors because this does have a strong, very strong scent. But since I'm going to do it really quick and then just set it outside for the video purposes, but you'll want, you can wear a mask, and it's recommended you wear a mask and you do it outdoors because you, there are fumes and you will smell them in this but i'm going to do it really quick to show you guys and then i'm going to set it outside okay but if you have a patio or something to do it on it'll be a lot of fun just go ahead and do it out there so i just took my my wire and i just wired the bottom together so that's a nice sturdy piece and now i'm just going to get my my beacon 527 glue and i'm going to put some on the bottom just like this just like that and I'm going to stick it into my container to hold that for me. I'm just going to hold it for a second. It does take an hour to dry, so you don't really have, and I can smell it already. So it is recommended you do this outside, but I can't go outside right now because uh, it's raining and um, I don't have the awning cover out. So I'm going to do it right here, and uh, that will take a while to dry, so don't worry. And then I poked a hole in the center of it like that, so I could put my pretty bloom straight down into that and you can hear it going down into your foam okay just like that okay just like that okay now that I have that in there um I'm not going to use that piece and I don't I don't need my paint anymore but I need my pebble rock so what I'm going to do now with my pebble rocks some of you may have a better way of doing this is that this is the way that I like to do it. And I'm going to leave it sitting. I'm going to set it outside, but it does take about an hour to dry really good because you don't want your rocks falling off. This one took really, uh, actually about 40 minutes. See, all those rocks in there, I've only, I only lost one just now. So that's fine. And that's a permanent kind of little arrangement. And it's so cute. So cute. <coughs> hope all of you are doing good today and um years ago I remember on rainy days I used to say oh and my kids also we'd say oh we're so bored we're so bored but now on rainy days I never get bored I love doing this it's so fun and you'll love it too so make you a material list go to the store get what you need come home turn my video on and do it with me step by step and then go to my floor my Facebook group floral class with Kathy K-A-T-H-Y and post a photo of what you made and I would love to see it okay all right so I got that ready now I'm just going to get my glue and I'm just gonna go all around the top of this it's kind of moving around because it's not adhered all the way to the bottom but I'm just gonna get my glue and I'm gonna go all around this just kind of quickly my glue is all over there and I'm gonna put the lid on because of that odor and I'm gonna go ahead and get a big pile of these rocks and just pile them right on top just like this just like that and then I'm going to even them out where it's kind of straight 
like this. Make sure I didn't miss any holes. Just you don't want to miss any holes. Okay. Now see I have a little bit of a mess going on here. But that's okay because I put it right on top of this poster board. So it's going to be very easy for me to clean this up. And I'm going to save them because I can make another one. I just want them to stay right here onto that. Okay. And that is so cute already. Can you see how cute that is already? Now, I like to take the, um, the Beacon 527 glue and put some on top because it does dry clear. I just kind of do like this especially around the, the outside because I do want this to um I want this to dry around, around on the outside I want it to stay right there all of them so I just put a little bit of glue all around the top now I am ready to set this outside for it to dry for one hour let me show you guys how cute this is and I did it with just a hint of the yellow can you guys see the yellow good but isn't that adorable and you can just put that on your you know your little desk or your sunny window or whatever it is you want so I'm going to go and set this outside because of the epoxy uh, glue well I call it epoxy glue it's beacon 527 it dries clear but it does have an odor so I'm going to set this outside thank all of you for joining me and I hope that you will make one or get inspired to make something like I said you could use a white container you could use you could do white pebbles and put your greenery, whatever you want to do. Just get creative and make you something because flowers are an instant mood booster in plants. Look how beautiful that is. And you can use it for a paperweight. It's good for a teacher gift. So many ideas. Put it down in the comments what ideas you have to make one of these. And this is about a four by nine. Have a good evening, everyone.